hello students uh, now we will see how to solve this problem uh, this is a problem uh, which is from your first unit and uh, try to understand the statement first now statement says that two vehicles on opposite side of bank banks of a canal pull a vessel now two vehicles are there and where, where, where they are they are at the opposite side of banks of canal and pull a vessel moving parallel to other banks by means of two horizontal ropes the tension in these ropes have been measured to be 20 kilo newton and 24 kilo newton uh, while the angle between uh, them is 60 degrees now find the resultant pull uh, on the vessel and the angle between the ropes uh, which side of canal now first of all we can solve this problem uh, when we have a diagram because with diagram we can very easily uh, came to know which method we have to apply now uh, as we know from the statement we can very easily uh, draw the diagram now solution and solving here <coughs> now it is having two banks of canal so first we make a canal now let's say uh, this is a canal and we can say this is the one bank of canal and this is the second bank of canal now uh, let's say this is a vessel let's say it's having o name this is a vessel and it is tied with one vehicle in this direction if i say this is the b means uh, outside of canal the vessel is uh, the vehicle is and uh, this is another vehicle a and it is again tied with a rope so these arrows are telling you the tension in the rope because if if a vessel will pull a uh, 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 sorry a uh, vehicle will pull a vessel so it will have definitely a tension in this way and same tension in this direction right now if oa now you can say uh, one tension is given 24 kilo newton and second is given 20 newton so let's say uh, we are taking Q now this is the force Q and it is having value 20 kilo Newton you can take in any other side it is not given so you can take P uh, the second value that is 24 kilo Newton right now uh, it is also given the angle between these two ropes is 60 so means this total angle is 60 right now it is understood very very clearly if uh, a vehicle here it is going horizontally in this direction and it is also going in this direction so ultimately the vessel will move in this direction this is the resultant means for for these two ropes it will be the resultant so we represent it with r now it is said to be calculated the resultant pull so it means we have to find out this pull as well as we have to find out the angle between these uh, the resultant and these ropes so it means we have to find out this angle I must say like alpha and we have to calculate this angle also this is beta right now uh, as per diagram and very clearly say we, we can apply it parallelogram uh, theorem now now according to that the resultant force uh, exerted by now we can say exerted on the vessel is now we know the formula first we write the formula that is r that resultant is equal to under root of i will i'll take the same uh, symbols for, for these forces p square means first force plus q square means second force plus 2 pq cos theta now from where i am taking this it is the directly i am taking from uh, parallelogram theorem which i have discussed earlier so now we will fill the values now we will get what 24 square p plus 20 square that is q plus 2 into 24 into 20 and cos theta now theta is what the angle between these two that is 
60 degree right we will use calculator and we will find out the value now it is coming 576 plus 20 square that is 400 plus when we solve this we are getting 480 now it means we are having underscore of 1456 and when we take under root so resultant is coming equals to 38.16 kilonewton so take care about the units it is given here kilonewton because the units are kilonewton as per the given statement so this is the value of result as told to calculate now we will go for the direction now we know that as per the same parallelogram theorem now how to find out the reaction now the formula is formula says that the inclination inclination of a resultant with a direction of force P means we will calculate any angle either you will calculate alpha or you will go for beta right now in this you can take any value P this one Q this one force one force two it is it is not uh, having any concern with the formula but when you calculate the direction you have to take care about the value theta as well as you have to calculate the uh, you have to take care about the force f1 which one is f1 which one is f2 so the formula says that tan alpha now y alpha because i am taking this i am calculating this angle now so tan alpha is equal to q sin theta now q now this is this one right so upon p plus q cos theta so remember that p plus q both the forces are there p plus q but at the top it will be q sin theta right angle is this but the force will be this one same if you are calculating beta then you have to take this as on the top and p plus q at the base what this point to calculate beta this will come at the top right so we will find out the values now it is what 20 sin 60 now theta is the same in the given angle between the two ropes now it is 24 value of p plus 20 and uh, cos 60 right now we will go for the calculations now it is coming to be 20 into 0 0.866 divided by 24 plus 20 into of course 60 is 0 0.5 right now we are getting the value that is 0 0.5094 that is tan alpha right so from this we can calculate alpha so what will be alpha that will be tan inverse of 0 0.5094 and when we calculate we are getting it to be 27 degree right so now we have no need to again use the same formula uh, this one we can directly find out the beta because we have the total angle we have the total angle 60 first angle we get, get 27 we can find out this angle very easily right so that will be uh, beta will be 60 minus 27 that is equal to 33 degree that is the value of beta now this was asked by the question now we have to find out the angle and resultant so we get resultant and the value of angle 27 degree and 30 degree